Hasbro's been having a bad run in the last week or so. First of all, their HasLab campaign for the Engine of Greed is stumbling and it failed to unlock the early bird tier. And then a YouTuber leaked their entire 2023 Marvel Legends lineup. And now they want to charge you $80 for the best head you've never had. Let's discuss the Hasbro Selfie series. Stay tuned. Come with me, toy fans. Hey toy fans, my name is Tony and welcome back to the Analog Toys YouTube channel. Now, on the same day that Hasbro was in the media because they planted 100,000 trees, because you know, now they've gone to plastic free packaging, they need to cut more trees down in the future to make up for all the extra cardboard. They also announced some more Christmas themed Star Wars toys. So you're removing plastic packaging from your products, but then you put out this stuff? Like, this is, this is not the Hasbro Star Wars holiday series. This is peg warming plastic pollution. That's all I can call it. If you're a, one of the people who wants to jump into the comments and tell me that you actually want this shit, you're fucking crazy. This stuff is just beyond stupid. But the main reason we're here is to talk about the Hasbro Selfie series. And for those of you who aren't too familiar with it, let me get you up to speed. In the next couple of days, through the Hasbro Pulse mobile app, you'll be able to order an action figure and have the head printed in your likeness. So you can have an action figure of yourself. When you use the apps, you basically got to take a selfie and you know turn your head to the left and right so the app can scan your portrait. And then you get to choose from a variety of different hairstyles, skin tones, facial hairstyles, and that head will then be put onto one of a variety of different figures that you can choose. From the Star Wars line, you can be a Stormtrooper, an X-Wing pilot, a Princess Leia, or a Mandalorian. From the Marvel line, you can be Black Panther, Iron Man, Spider-Man, or Black Widow. You can be either a red or pink Power Ranger. And from G.I. Joe, you can be either Snake Eyes or Scarlet. And finally, from Ghostbusters, you can be a generic male or female Ghostbuster figure. And in some of Hasbro's press releases, they've been saying that fans have been asking them for years that they want to be immortalized in plastic and be their own action figure. Immortalized in plastic, but they're not immortalizing you in plastic. They're immortalizing you in 3D printed resin. So these custom selfie action figures, it's a Hasbro figure with a 3D printed head. And back in July, Hasbro announced that the price tag for these selfie series figures was gonna be $60. Today, just days away from the launch of this app coming online, they're now increasing that price 33%. Now to get an action figure with your own head on it, it's gonna cost you $80. That's a 33% increase in price. Delivery times on these products start at 45 days from the time of ordering, but that can change over time as demand increases up to 60 days. Now I find myself in somewhat of a sticky situation here discussing the selfie series because of the fact that I have actually been turned into a mass produced action figure. I mean, I've got the Desert Rat right here and you know, thousands of these figures have made their way into collections around America and the rest of the world. So for me to be kind of critical of this selfie series, I'm sure a lot of people are gonna come back at me and go, well, you've had an action figure made of you. But it's worth pointing out that I never asked to become this action figure. Uh, this action figure, to me is, is, is an accolade representative of lifetime achievement based on the fact that I fought the World Wide War on Terror for 10 years. Um, and I've also dedicated the last six years of my life to creating action figure videos on YouTube. And the combination of the two was recognized by the founder of Valiverse and he went, hey, that is the perfect person to turn into an action figure. Many of you will also know that my friend Laser Pants got himself a 3D printed sculpted head but I like the way Laser Pants has handled this because he uses it to poke fun at himself. I've got him here on the uh, ridiculous looking gun ho body because it just suits him. But having my likeness turned into the Desert Rat action figure from the Valiverse Action Force line really is recognition for the service within my life. As opposed to the Selfie series, which is very much just a wish fulfillment exercise for people who want to see themselves as a Star Wars pilot or a G.I. Joe ninja or whatever it may be. And if I sound a little bit arrogant saying that, I really don't care because 
my service in the special forces and my service to queen and country has earned me the right to be arrogant about that. But the big difference between this here and what you're gonna get with the selfie series is that this is manufactured of you know, injection molded plastic. This is not 3D printed resin. This is not like, you know, going to the restaurant and ordering the chicken salad and it comes out and it's got tofu in it and they try and tell you that it's a meat substitute. It's not the same thing. And it's very important to note that Hasbro have actually warned consumers about swapping the heads because if you're not happy, you know, they, they have offered a variety of different bodies to put these heads onto. You know, you've got a couple of G.I. Joe characters, four Star Wars, four Marvel, a couple of different Power Rangers and Ghostbusters. But if you think you're going to get this item, you know, and let's say you're a G.I. Joe fan and, you know, and you're male, so you're not going to put your head on onto Scarlet, so you're going to go for Snake Eyes, but you don't really see yourself as a Snake Eyes. You see yourself more as a Sergeant Slaughter or a Duke or that kind of a character. Hasbro has warned that you really shouldn't be swapping these heads over because they're made of resin. And the difference between resin and plastic, it doesn't have the same properties of elasticity. And if you don't understand what that means, it means the shit don't bend. So if you're gonna start popping that head off the, um, the ball joint on the neck and start popping it onto other figures, you're very likely to crack this head and damage the head. That's why these figures don't come with custom hands. They've offered action figure bodies that also have, you know, uh, gloved hands, so you know, they don't have to worry about different skin tones on hands and things like that. And they also have costumes that are designed to completely cover the skin around the neck. So you can just put an unmasked head onto the action figure and it will look pretty decent. From everything I've read online and from the videos that I've watched about this, although this is 3D printed, like this is 3D printed to a very uh, high quality standard, but for all of you Hasbros out there, and you know, you guys know who you are, you, you know, we go back and forth in the comments all the time. <clears throat> you guys who just love everything Hasbro and want to buy everything Hasbro, you don't care the cost, the quality, none of that, none of that factors into it because you're a brand loyalist. That's great. If, uh, and and if, you, if, if you want to wear that as a badge of honor, go right ahead. At least I know where I stand with you. But understand that this technically isn't a Hasbro product. Okay, you're getting a base figure that you can buy off the shelf where it used to be for 20 bucks. Now it's closer to 30 bucks. You can buy a base figure. So technically what you're doing is paying an extra $60 for a 3D printed head that doesn't even come from Hasbro. All right, you're going to use a mobile app to create that head, uh, to create the design of it. That's a Hasbro mobile app. But the head itself is actually going to be uh, produced by a third party vendor. Form Labs, which is a 3D printing company. So if your devotion to Hasbro goes so far that you're gonna start supporting all of their contracted vendors, then you know I hope you chip in a donation to the uh, security company fund for the guys who patrol Hasbro's warehouse in Rhode Island. Now, for those of you out there who are really into this and you really want a Hasbro action figure with your own face on it, I'm happy for you, more power to you. But I really would stop and consider a 33% price increase. Man, they love raising the prices, hey? Like the thumbnail says, hell charges extra for the Haslabs and selfies. This price increase for the selfie series action figures is just another in a long series of kind of small bad news articles for the Hasbro company that's gone on in the, uh, over the last week you know, between their HasLab campaign and, and to top it all off, to add insult to injury, Toddy McFarlane just rubbed salt in the wound when he turned around and announced a vehicle with a seven inch action figure to be sold at retail for 50 bucks. That's right, McFarlane are gonna be offering this Batman monster truck with a Batman figure at retail, $50. Todd McFarlane, just walked straight up to Hasbro in a bar and went, screw you, pal. <laughs> and I love it. Since the HasLab project failed to unlock the early bird tier for the unmasked Robbie Reyes action figure last Friday, about 600 people have backed out of that campaign. And I'm really starting to get this feeling that collectors are beginning to open their eyes and understand value for money and really 
see the forest through the trees. And that's been the intent of several of my videos over the years. You know, not all my videos are topical news topics like this one. You know, I do a lot of retrospectives, but I've always been passionate about consumer advocacy when it comes to my fellow action figure collectors. I'm not here deliberately trying to bash your favorite brand. I collect this stuff as well. I love Star Wars, I love G.I. Joe, but I don't love corporations. A really good analogy of this, I spent many, many years in the military. I've served overseas. I am very, very close and I trust incredibly the men that I serve with. I'm proud to have served Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, but the army as an organization, I have no love for it. So I don't understand the collectors out there who they like G.I. Joe, they love Star Wars, they adore Marvel, and are blinded by the fact that this stuff is made by Hasbro, so Hasbro can do no wrong. Hasbro is trying to make money off the brands that you love. If you want these brands to continue to be better, to be able to compete with other toy manufacturers and constantly progress and improve, which is what I've always ever, that's all I've ever wanted for these lines. I want Star Wars to constantly get better. I want G.I. Joe to get better. The only way to do that is to be critical of the organization that creates it. If you just sit back and accept any old shit that rolls out the door, they're gonna keep sending more shit out the door for you to consume. So thank you all for watching and you can either watch some other videos here or take a selfie and send it to Hasbro or give this video a dislike and unsubscribe and don't click the bell, whatever. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.